everyone! Welcome back to my channel, it's Tiffany. So today we have a super exciting video because Chloe Ting came out with another challenge and of course I have to do it because I love her and you actually see the results in your body. So right now I am super bloated. I haven't eaten today but this is how my body looks. Yeah, I don't know why my body is so bloated all the time but I'll have to figure that out. I have a measuring tape here, so we're gonna go ahead and measure my body so we can keep track of everything that's going to be happening these next couple weeks. The tiniest part of my waist right now is 25 and a half inches. The biggest part of my belly right now is about 30 and a half inches. This is where my hip dips and then my butt kind of goes out. So this part right now is 34 and a half. Let's do my thigh and see if that gets bigger. And then my thigh right now is 20 inches. For my breakfast, I just had some green juice. And then for my lunch, I had some salmon and some sauteed mushrooms. You guys, I had to take a break because these workouts were killing me. For dinner, I just had a salad with the eggs, flax seeds, a plant-based burger, and some green onions with ranch. <sighs> okay, so that was all day one. We still have 24 more days left to go. The first workout video that she posted was so much harder than I anticipated. I was literally dying through the entire thing, but we got through two videos today, so I'll see y'all tomorrow. On day two for my breakfast, I had my green juice, and then for lunch, I had some matcha, a plant-based burger, mushrooms, and two string cheeses. For dinner, I had some tuna and cheese balls, and then tomorrow is actually an off day, so I'm gonna do another challenge, and then I'll link it in this video for you guys to watch. For day four's breakfast, I had some green juice, and then I also had some green tea with some apple cider vinegar, For lunch, I just had some zoodles with bacon and a piece of salmon. And for dinner, I had some keto teriyaki chicken with some squash. For day five's breakfast, I had some green juice and then I made some keto pancakes with some keto chocolate drizzled on top. For lunch, I made some keto chicken tenders and then this was probably the most unhealthy dinner ever, but that's totally fine. For day six's breakfast, I had some green juice and then I made some keto sandwiches with keto bread. One has bacon and egg and the other one is keto chocolate with some peanut butter. For lunch, I just had a salad with plant-based burger, bacon, ranch, and egg. And for dinner, I just had some ramen. I just finished with day six of the workouts. There's three workouts today and today was the first day I actually used the resistance bands. So on the very first video, I was accidentally using the band that was the strongest one and I didn't understand why I was dying until I took it off and it said heavy. So for the second video, I switched it out to the light one and then for the third video, I couldn't do it with the resistance band because it was so hard. But I'm glad I was able to do two videos with it even though I was using the wrong band for the first video. For day eight's breakfast, I had some green juice that wasn't shown and then I made a keto sandwich with keto bread, egg, cheese, and chicken sausage. And then for lunch, I made some chicken wings. I didn't eat all of these, I shared them with my husband. And for dinner, I just made some Chinese style garlic shrimp. Here are a bunch of videos that I took every single day to show the progress of how my body looks. On the very last week, I didn't take any videos from day 20 to 25, I only did the day 20 video and then I did the final day video and you can really tell a difference. It's so great. I love her workouts so much. On day 17, you can really start to see the hourglass definition start to form and my thighs also start to look bigger as well.
here is the final day. I am finally finished with this challenge and it is time to measure everything. My waist it is now 25 and a half. And then the biggest part of my belly, 27. My butt, 35. And then let's do my thigh. My thigh is now 19 and a half. My butt looks a little bit more perky now. My final thoughts on this challenge. Overall, I really liked it, although I'm a little disappointed that my waist didn't shrink a little bit more. So when you actually look at the videos though, my waist does look a little bit smaller. I think it's because I lost three inches around my belly, but my waist stayed the same but because I lost so much on my belly, it just kind of shrunk everything together. So I think that's why it gave me more of that hourglass shape. Some exciting news is that my butt did grow half an inch, which is really great. And then my thighs actually shrunk half an inch. So her challenges, she's always talking about grow butt and not thighs, and that actually really works. So my thighs actually shrunk, and then my butt got a little bit bigger. Doing all of her challenges though, every time I start one of her challenges, I'm like, okay, this will definitely be a little bit more easy because I feel like I'm used to her workouts, but she literally always still kicks my butt. No matter what I do, I still die doing her challenges. So her videos are a lot harder than I always anticipate them to be, but I really do enjoy them because you really do see the results on your body. I really love Chloe Ting and I highly recommend y'all check out her workout videos because they are so great. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know your thoughts on this challenge. And thank you guys so much for all of your support. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in my next video.